Hi, and welcome to NetworkingForums.com video series. I want to talk today about ROMMON. Now, ROMMON is entering a mode that allows you to do things physically with the hardware uh, that you can't do over the network. ROMMON allows us to recover if we are missing a password and need to be able to get into a device. It allows us to load an image on the software. There's a lot of things we can do to get into ROMMON or that we can do once we're in ROMMON. And this is specifically done when you're connected physically to a device. You don't do it over the network. And because of the ability for ROMMON to have direct access to these devices without requiring a password, you've got to make sure that your comm rooms or server rooms, wherever you have your network gear stored, make sure that they are physically secure. You've got to use the 4Gs, the guards, guns, gates and dogs. Without those, then someone could come in, get into ROMMON mode on your switches and routers and firewalls even, and mess with them to their heart's content. So, what I have here is I've got instructions for my particular device. I'm going to use a 2950 switch because that's what I bought for my lab back in the day and they still work, so I still use them. And I've also got my putty session at the bottom here. Now, the ROMMON instructions are going to be different, perhaps, for different types of devices, but they're going to follow a, a similar pattern. You're going to interrupt the boot process. You're going to enter a special mode in the hardware, do some crazy things, and then boot normally, and then be able to access that hardware without requiring a password. So, uh, I've got this ready to go. Let's go ahead and hit return to get started, and let's see if it requires a password to get in. Ah, switch? Nope, it doesn't. Well, I want to go to enable mode, hit enter, and oh no, it asks for a password. I give up. I can't guess what it is because I'm going to teach about ROMMON. So I follow the instructions I have over here. It says, one, unplug the power cable. Well, how do we do that? Ugh. Well, this is the Cisco 2950 switch, the front side. There's no power cable here, so you don't unplug it there. Come around the back and do thusly. Just like that. There's no power toggle on it. You just unplug the thing. Now it says, uh, step two, hold down the mode button while replugging the power cable. That's the mode button right here. Your little click. Okay, I'm going to hold that down while I plug in the cable. Now, if this is in a server rack, uh, the mode button's on one side and the power thing is on the other side, you may get another person to come in and help you. But since I'm here home alone, let me see if I can do the stunt myself. All right, got my finger on the mode button. Here's the power cable going in, and watch the putty session. Watch the putty session. Ah, ha -ha. That's not a normal Cisco thing. I'm in the ROM mod mode. Follow the commands. I type in flash. Oops. Hit caps lock. Get out of there. Flash underscore I-N-I-T. Hit enter. It will now initialize the flash. By the way, hitting tab will just mess up the actual uh, commands there. You don't want to use that while you're in ROMMON mode. Okay, it's loaded the flash. Now I type in load underscore helper. Hit enter. Now it's loaded the helper. Let's see what's on that flash directory. Dir flash colon. Remember the colon. Okay, I've got a config.text and a config.old. I was messing around with this earlier. The config.old is left over from an earlier mess, but config.text, that's the file that has the password information in it. If I rename it, the password won't be there. So I'm going to rename it to config.old. Oops, txt. Oh, it should be flash colon config.txt. This is not Windows, I must keep telling myself. This is not Windows. Flash colon config.old. Kaboom. Rename file exists. Yeah, okay. Click. 
call config that older. There we go. Okay, and now I can boot. And I won't have any, any password to deal with. So we'll boot it up. I won't edit for time. We're going to see exactly how long it takes. Yes, it can be a long time. Deal with it. Learn the fine art of conversation so when you're in the calm room with other people, you uh, don't just stare at the screens in a bored fashion. Be sure you're a master of light conversations such as weather or local sports teams. Uh, those tend to not cause fights. And you don't want to fight in the calm room. Trust me on that. Okay, when I like to enter the initial configuration dialog, we say no and enter. And it says press return to get started. But wait, before I even start, we get all these messages. Well, some of those are just regular console messages that get reported whether I'm logged in or not. So don't worry about that. I'll hit enter, and then here I am at the switch. Now remember, last time we typed in enable, we got prompted for a password, but this time, oh, hashtag we're in. I can now do whatever I want on this system. And you see the power of Rommon mode and the password recovery. You don't want this to happen to one of your machines in production unless you really need to do it. Okay, so now let's go ahead though and put that password file back with the uh, original configuration we had. So we're going to type in rename flash.config. I know it says old on the text file, but we had a little hitch in the giddy up, so we'll type in config.older to flash colon config.txt. You always have to be ready to roll with the punches when you're doing networking. That's why guys who are too sloppy for the database usually do just fine in the networking realm. Okay, we've done that. And then the next thing we want to do is we want to copy flash colon. Actually, no, wait, I don't want to do that right yet. I'm going to show run. All right. I'm going to show you right now, we have a running configuration, but there's no password in there. Password would come right here in this first section. I'll hit Control C and get out of that. Now, if I follow that uh, step 11, we're going to come back with that password. Copy flash colon config.txt to system colon running dash config. Enter. That's the destination we want. And hey presto, it's in. Now, if you have proper logging of your systems, you'll know when people access it and do things like this. But if I didn't have proper logging on here, I could have used the password recovery, gone in, changed the configuration, and then copied that password file back in, and then hit you know, write mem on it, and no one would be the wiser that I had made some changes there. So make sure you also have proper logging of your systems. Okay, now if I do a show run, look right there underneath host name. It says enable secret, and there is that password that I couldn't guess what it is. It's encrypted. What can I do about that? Well, I would like to be able to use this box, so I'll hit conf T, and we'll start with no enable secret. All right, if I do it, do show run. I have to type in a do instead of just regular because I'm in the config mode. There it is. It's gone. No more password. Now let's, let's put a password in. What password should I use? Well the text file says password. I could type in anything I want though. But it should be something easy to remember. For purposes of this video P-A-S-S-W-O-R-D is very easy to remember. Hit enter. And now if I do another do show run. There's the password. Yeah, but I know the password is password. So I hit control C. I'll exit out of there. And I'll write mem. Can I hit enter on that? Yes, I can. Even though the debug message interrupted, I am not afraid. Hit enter. Builds at config. There we are. 
And now if I do a, if I exit, press return to get started, it says prompt for the, have to go to enable, it prompts you for my password, P-A-S-S-W-O-R-D, enter. Now I'm in enable mode. Great. But this time I know the password. So when you buy your equipment online and you have to go into ROMON to allow yourself to use it, if you've got a machine in the racks that's just not responsive and you got a ROM on to do it, you've seen how to do it. Lab it up yourself. Practice with your own gear. Make sure you get the right process for the right gear, but you'll have a great time with it. For this and more, come to networking-forums.com, where there are a lot of really smart people ready to give a lot of really great advice. Till later, I'm Dean Webb for networkingforums.com, signing off. Bye for now. I gotta hit the right button too.